In the last video, I showed you Groove Agent 1, and I'm going to continue to use it now to show you a new plugin called the Beat Designer. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to have to load some drum sounds into Groove Agent 1. Then I'm going to close Groove Agent 1, and I'm going to go to the MIDI Inserts tab of its instrument track and call up the new plugin, Beat Designer. Beat Designer is a MIDI plugin. It doesn't make sounds by itself, so it relies on something else to make the sounds. This is the interface of Beat Designer, what I like to call drum by numbers. It's kind of like paint by numbers, but instead you're painting on drum notes. So what we're looking at here is a 16th note grid with different instruments on different lanes. For example, this bass drum is broken up onto 16th note sections, and if I wanted to program a four on the floor beat, I would definitely need four on the floor. So I'm going to put a drum note onto every single quarter note, and then press play on Cubase. And there's my four on the floor. Now I'm going to add the snare drums onto two and four. Then I need the closed hi-hat, which I'm going to put on all four quarter notes. And then on the off beats, I'm going to put an open hi-hat. And there's a standard four on the floor drum beat. Now you can also go in and put in different velocities of every single note. You'll notice that this first snare drum note is a little bit different color than the rest of them. So when you click and drag up and down with your mouse, you can enter the notes volume or velocity. So if I were to have them all yellow right now, that's the maximum velocity allowed. If I play that, all the notes are about as loud as the next. So by dragging down on a note, you can change its intensity. So for example, if the hi-hats, the closed hi-hats needed to be a little bit softer, I could turn those down. And also using the flam control, which are these little dots that appear at the bottom of a note, I can put flams onto a note. For example, this second snare drum note. If I want two flams, or even three. Very easy to program the flams on. Now, that is my first pattern. You'll notice down here there are four banks of 12 different patterns each. So let's program our second pattern. This is just going to be a snare drum fill, but I need different intensities of bass drum notes. So this first one will be somewhat soft, and then they'll get louder and louder and louder. Then, my snare drum is going to be soft, 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 a little bit louder, and a little bit louder, and you'll notice that I'm actually clicking lower on the lane to get lower intensity of notes. Now let's listen to that pattern. Now I can trigger each pattern on the screen by clicking on the note in that pattern bank. But another very effective way to use Beat Designer is by triggering each pattern from your MIDI keyboard. You'll notice that the pattern banks are represented by a MIDI keyboard. So if I use the jump function, now I can trigger each of those patterns by my MIDI keyboard. So if I press C3, it goes to that pattern. And if I press C sharp 1, it moves to the next pattern. And if I press the Now button on the Beat Designer, they'll jump only at the end of the pattern so that you don't have anything in between. Now you can certainly record each MIDI note to trigger a pattern on an instrument or MIDI track. You can also click and drag individual patterns or pattern banks onto an instrument or MIDI track of Cubase. So for example, this first pattern I'm going to drag onto measure number one. And the second pattern I'm going to drag onto measure number two. Then I can clear out Beat Designer 
and use the patterns inside of Cubase from the track. So when I double click on this and open my key editor, you'll actually see that that MIDI performance has been put onto a MIDI track and I can play it back and edit it even further. Now that's great for your own drum patterns, but the other nice thing is that Beat Designer comes with a whole series of drum patterns built in. So if I click on the load preset button and I load some of the pattern banks into Beat Designer, now I have an entire library of included drum beats. Now let's move on to the next chapter where I'm going to show you the reverence convolution reverb.